Welcome back. She's been getting up in the dark for 22 years to host The Edge Breakfast. She's also been a bestseller author, and her second book, Life on the Edge, is hot off the press. It is out now. Please, welcome to the cafe, my good friend, JJ Harvey. <laughs> To have you here, JJ. It's like, you look so young now. <laughs> <laughs> that's what not getting up. It's stupid. I that's right. That's what it is. I know. Gosh, I feel mm. like I should have got some Botox before I came here or something. <laughs> um, no, you look fine. I was gonna, I know that in the photos actually. Yeah, that like she needs that. Botox. No, that she hasn't right. aged. <laughs> <laughs> look as good as the day you started, JJ. Oh, thanks. What on earth made you want to write this book? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's uh, I, I mean, like, there's so many amazing stories from 22 years on the air. There's just so many. Like, it was, it was actually really hard to write the book because I had, to, I had to leave out so many stories. There's just not enough. I could do, like, maybe I could be the next Harry Potter author and have seven books. Yeah, you, um, could, you could do quite a few, a few stories. I started reading it, um, and I work in radio as well, and yeah. I've done it for years, so I know all the players in this book, so I am loving it. And I'm loving the ones that you don't name because I'm thinking... Who is who that? Is that? <laughs> I think I know who that one is. We may have a conversation later on about that. Some of the people make sure I've got the names right. Mm -hmm. it's, but it's just a fascinating insight to the workings of radio for people that haven't had anything to do with it. I think so, because the behind the scenes of radio isn't really talked about much. It's very unglamorous. Yeah, and, and, and well, people don't really know what really happens. Yeah, and, um, a lot of active wear. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of acting wear, no makeup. Oh yeah, a lot of lying on the floor while the songs are playing, hoping, wishing you were in bed asleep. <laughs> no, um, no, no, it's just yeah, yeah. I thought it'd be just a nice little sort of peek behind the curtain to see really what goes on and some of the fun and scandalous things that happen. Look, yeah. I was working with you when you started this, and I know it's been hard work for you. What has been the hardest chapter, do you think, to put together? Um, probably the one about um, you leaving Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was just a couple of lines. Don't worry about and that. And then he left. And then and Mike left. left. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. This guy called Randall, he's really hot. <laughs> so, um, no, well, I time's mean, up. Yeah, okay. I must say, like, there are a couple of chapters I left till the end to write, mm. even though they're not maybe at the end of the book. One of them was um, about a former co-host before you, Bud Ugly Bob, yeah. who passed away. And uh, that was a hard chapter to write because he's... Uh, Oh, you know, he's still with me a lot, and he was such an, such a, such an influence. Yeah. I mean, you remember him. Yeah, that's right. Um, but you have to read about that in the book. Um, and Dancing with the Stars was actually a really hard chapter to write because I did really love that time, but I didn't really love going back over that time. Right. Why not? So who were the snarky ones? Oh! <laughs> Come on. You've written a book you're going to tell us now. Say. Give us a clue. Oh, no, I can't do that. No, because... You can. No, the thing is, like, it's oh, very hard... Can, it's very hard to talk about yourself and not talk about other people. Yeah. So, like, I mean, obviously I have to talk, mention you, Mike. You yeah, were yeah. there for 11 or 12 years. But, if you know, so it's very hard not to mention other people. So, um... And I was a bit embarrassed to put the Justin Bieber bit in. Thank you very much for that. You'll have to read about that. What's That's the Justin Bieber story? I haven't oh, got that far yet. Mike, JJ, good. tell me. Mike had a very... <laughs> very, um, very um, moist dream about okay. Justin Bieber. You can, you can read all about it in JJ's book. And, Go and buy it. And Go we and buy almost it. made the dream come true. Just oh. about. No, but obviously very hard, and you know you had to go through a lot. But what I love about it is so many memories that perhaps you had even forgotten about while you compiled this. So many faces, places, and people that yeah. you would have completely forgotten about. It's quite funny because as you write it, things come back. And I was looking through old photos and old, you know, newspaper articles and all sorts of stuff like that to bring back some of the older memories. Yeah, and I had to talk to a few people as well. Do you remember what happened there and then? Yeah, but no, it's just it's just really cool. Like all the stories written about all the celebrities we've met. Yeah. Just what they're like in real life and things like that. That um, you know, I really stuff enjoyed writing been, that. The stuff you've been wanting to say, but I guess have waited until this book's come out so you can expose it all. I love it. I, it's, it's such a great read JJ's as well. dropped all of her names in one book, whereas you drop them every morning on the show. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> um, so of all. Oh yeah. How many times has he mentioned Jason Kerrison as best? Uh, from the <laughs> 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 don't everyone yeah. laugh? Celebrity friend. Oh, you know it. He talks about him all the time. Um, who would be the most, the most? We've all got that person. For me, it was Tex Perkins, an Australian singer, who was just a horrific interview. Right. Uh, we interview them, and they're just not that nice. Right. Uh, who's your biggest letdown? Oh gosh. Well, this is quite a boring story because it's so long ago. But um, Shirley Manson from Garbage, the lead oh, singer. Really? Like I loved Garbage. Same. Like I love Pink. Yeah. And Shirley Manson was. She must have been in a bad mood or something. But I was so gutted when I met her because I've been to four of her concerts and I was really genuinely excited. And I don't get too excited about meeting celebrities yeah. much because you meet so many. 
And oh, she was just, I don't know. Well, she that's was a letdown just... for me too. Yeah, well, maybe it was a bad day. I've got to say, maybe it was, but I was very, very upset after that. And haven't gone to a garbage concert since. Yeah. Okay, okay, JJ, one other thing I want to talk about, because I've only got about 30 seconds left. Um, there's been a lot of media talk recently about you and Dom and your separation. Yep. How, how is everything now? You all right? Because you, you guys are my buddies. Is everything all right? <laughs> Let's just discuss it on television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 we are good. You know what? Real life. We, yep. we didn't really, we didn't break up. I just needed some space. Right. And I think, you know, sometimes if you feel like that, you might do something drastic and leave a relationship. But it wasn't about the relationship. It was about me just needing to get a little bit of clear-headedness. And he was so good to let me sort of do that for a few months. But I saw him every bloody day at work anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't so know it's not like I really had a break. Yeah, that's good. And, you know, and he's here with you today. And you know, yeah. you've got to do these things in relationships. You're right, it's real life. And that's what people love about you, that you keep it real. Well, yeah. thanks. Yeah. No good. And a great read. Um, really stoked it's out. A lot of memories, and I'm sure a lot of things that people can relate to in this book. So go and get Pictures it now. Pictures of Mike. Pictures Hilarious. of Fat Mike, too. Um, okay, JJ's new book, Life on the Edge, is out now.